So Unify has several different options when it comes to their controller. In this video, we're going to take a look at few of the different options they have and see what might be best for you based on your scenario. Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the options you have when looking to set up a Unify controller. So for those of you who don't know, Unify is basically a professional line of networking equipment provided by a company named Ubiquiti. So Ubiquiti creates a wide range of networking equipment, but specifically their Unify range of equipment is targeted at residential as well as small and medium sized enterprises. So some of the main reasons people find the Unify range of equipment attractive, including myself, is one, it's price, it's very cost effective. So when compared to some other professional brands such as Maraki, Aruba, Ruckus, etc. It's very, very cost effective. Um, there's no license fee associated with Ubiquiti's Unify series equipment. So that's definitely a plus for a lot of people. And two, it's, it's user friendly. It's very easy to configure and use. There are practically dozens, if not hundreds of um, videos on YouTube showing you how to set up Unify networks and devices from start to finish. My channel also has a couple of these videos, so feel free to check out my Ubiquiti um, playlist. But yes, this is definitely a selling point for the product. You know, in the past and even now, a lot of the professional grade brands, you need to outsource the configurations and installations to vendors and people who actually trained and certified with the brand. Um, Ubiquiti removes that, that barrier in terms of accessing the equipment, specifically the Unify range of products. It's very user friendly and very intuitive. So that's definitely um, a big plus and what makes this series of equipment so attractive. So at the heart of the Unify ecosystem lives the controller. So the controller is responsible for a wide variety of different things, from installing and configuring hardware, to monitoring the system uptime and anomalies, to performing um, firmware upgrades, as well as if you have advanced functionality such as capture portals and stuff like that running, the controller is responsible for all these different things and more. So there are various ways where you can have the controller set up and deployed. So I'm going to show you some of these options and hopefully you'll be able to determine which might be best suited for your scenario. So option number one would be to simply go on Ubiquiti's website and download the Unify controller software and have it set up and installed on one of your computers. So Ubiquiti actually makes this software readily available and free of charge. So there's no license fee, there's no subscription fee tied to the controller software. You could simply just go to their website, download it, have it set up and running within a couple of minutes. So this is actually the cheapest way of getting started with a Unify controller. However, there are some things to consider. One, if you're going to have this set up and running on a computer 24-7, bear in mind your electric bill, especially which part of the world you live in. This might be a considerable cost. Also, two, if you plan to access the controller remotely, which is a big plus for a lot of people, they like to remotely be able to monitor and configure and make changes to their network, you need to set up some additional firewall rules and port forwarding on your devices. Right? So those are two things to consider. Your electric bill, because you basically have a computer running the software 24-7, and two, um, you need to do some additional port forwarding and firewall rules if you want to access this remotely. Right, so who might this be applicable to? So this would definitely be applicable to anyone looking to get into Unified and you don't necessarily want to spend a ton of money. Right, this would definitely be applicable for those sort of people, residential customers, um, hobbyists who just look into dabble a bit with the Unified um, ecosystem. This would definitely be um, recommended for them. Right? Even some businesses as well, right? So like there are businesses that have their server infrastructure, you might have a data center. You could easily easily spin up a virtual machine, a VM, and have the controller software running there. And it wouldn't necessarily be at any additional um, cost in terms of electricity because it's running on your existing infrastructure. 
So yeah, that's, those are the target audience. I would say anyone looking to get into Unify, not looking to spend a bunch of money, residential customers, as well as the commercial customers who already have the infrastructure in place. Two, the second way of doing this is purchasing one of Ubiquiti's devices that already has the controller software pre-installed in it. Right? One such device would be the Cloud Key. So this is actually a Cloud Key Gen 1, right? As you can see, it's made by Ubiquiti. So these devices come with Ubiquiti's controller, Unify controller, actually pre-installed in it. So there's actually that, that was a Gen 1, there's a Gen 2 and Gen 2 Plus as well. And there are also some of the newer devices such as the UDM, the UDM Pro and Pro SE that has the controller software built into it already. So this is definitely an option for a lot of people who don't necessarily want to have a computer on 24-7 to access their controller software. Here you have a device, a low power device, because this particular unit gets the power over PoE, right? And the other units as well, it's very low power as opposed to having a computer on 24-7, right? So those of you who are looking for just a dedicated device, take the hassle of downloading the controller software and configuring it yourself that's a this is definitely an option and two to remotely manage the software it's much easier you don't necessarily need to do any advanced configurations or port um, forwarding and stuff like that once you do the initial setup you'll be able to remotely access your network your unify network your dashboard your controller etc so those that is option number two having the pre-configured pre-installed um, controller devices as I mentioned Gen 1 Cloud Key that I just showed you there's also the Cloud Key Gen 2 and 2 Plus that has some upgraded hardware and also the all-in-one devices such as the Dream Machines the Dream Machine Pro and Pro SE these all these devices come with a Unify controller built into them already right so people who this might be applicable to are residential customers you know, some people, you just want to purchase the equipment and have it work without having your dedicated computer running the controller software. It's a great place to start, having one of their dedicated devices. And two, small and medium enterprises. I've done dozens of installations for a lot of different business customers. And I've used a mixture of cloud keys, UDM, UDM pros, and they were great, right? So definitely a mixture of residential as well as commercial customers can benefit of using this method. And last but not least, my preferred way of doing it is hosting your Unify controller in the cloud. So basically, you can leverage cloud um, technologies such as AWS, Azure, DigitalOcean to have your Unify controller hosted there. Right? So I've been doing this a while now, right? And this is definitely my preferred method of doing this. Right, so basically what this entails is having a VM, a virtual machine, on one of these platforms and installing the Unify controller software there. So some of the benefits of doing it this way is that one, you don't have to worry about maintaining your in-house infrastructure. Right, so in terms of your cloud controller going bad um, or, or electricity going and um, corrupting the um, configuration and stuff like that, Remember, these things are hosted on world-class data centers when they're in the cloud, right? So they're much more reliable than having it hosted locally on your on-prem um, infrastructure. That's one of the big things for me. And another benefit as well is that I literally do dozens of um, Unify installations. And by having a controller hosted in the cloud, I can actually use it as a kind of multi-tenant. So what do I mean by that? I mean literally I have one controller currently hosted in the cloud and I could create sites for individual customers and that one controller that's hosted in the cloud. So instead of having to put your cloud keys and separate devices for each customer, essentially all of my customers are just tied back to this controller hosted in the cloud. So from an administrative point of view, it's much better for me. As, as well as a cost-saving point of view, my customers don't necessarily need to purchase these cloud keys and these other devices. right? So 
that's one of the big benefits for me you know as an installer um, specifically so yes one of the drawbacks here is that there is an associated cost whether it's a monthly rental you know currently with digital ocean i use digital ocean i pay like six us a month but i, I in my opinion um it's totally worth it because i have like literally dozens of customers that utilize this controller for their needs and from administrative point of view it makes it easier for me i could just log into this controller and change change in um, in between different sites to manage my various customers but when you're talking about course it's also a bit of course even in, in upfront because upfront you don't have to pay for a cow key you don't have to invest in a separate um, device for your controller you know so you have to kind of leverage it either you pay the extra upfront or you pay that monthly subscription you know so it's definitely um something you could um would have to evaluate right so who is this good for who, who um do i um recommend this for so i recommend this for um perhaps you're someone that manages multiple sites you know you may not necessarily be a, a, insta you're a technician or installer but perhaps you have um your your enthusiasts that you have your family's unify system you have yours you know and you have a few friends that you manage a unify system for this might be a great option for you you know, instead of managing several different um, cloud keys and different appliances, just manage one cloud um, hosted controller. Um, also, um, anyone in particular who wants like um, something that's more reliable, in my opinion, because it's hosted in the cloud, you don't have to worry about your cloud key or your on-prem device going down, and you don't have the you don't have access to your site anymore. You know, it's much more reliable. But as I said, it's based on your um, scenario. So guys, those are basically the different options you have when it comes to your Unify controller. So there's really no bad option. It's basically you have to determine, you evaluate your needs. Um, you know the different options it have and which one works best for you. You know, you could choose to go that route. There's no good or bad necessary, necessarily, you know. So you basically just have to evaluate your, your situation, what you're trying to accomplish. And you could choose something that is, is in line with it. Um, I have instructions, I have tutorials on my channel and my Ubiquiti playlist, specifically how to set up um, a system using a cloud key. So how you could set up your Unify controller using a cloud key. If you have a cloud key, I have a video showing that. I also have a video showing if you want to um, utilize a service like Azure or Digital Ocean, something like that, to have your controller hosted in the cloud. I have a tutorial showing you how you could get that up and running in the cloud as well. Also, if you're interested in going the Unify controller route in terms of cloud keys or any one of those devices, I have an Amazon affiliate links in the video description. Feel free to purchase using one of those links. It doesn't change your price. It just gives me a little kickback, you know, in terms of being able to provide better quality content for you guys. Um, if you're thinking about going the cloud hosted controller method, right, there's a great service, Digital Ocean. I currently use it. Um, it's only $6 a month, 6 US a month. I have a link in the video description. If you use this link, you actually get 100 US worth of free credit with Digital Ocean. You know, so that's an option if, you, if you're thinking about going the cloud hosted controller method, you could definitely benefit from using that link in the video description. So as always, guys, I want to thank you for viewing this video. As I mentioned, I want to do more ubiquity and more unified specific videos. If that's something you're interested in seeing, please comment down below and let me know. If there's something else you're particularly interested in seeing in the IT, the networking, space you know comment in the video below and let me know and i'll see how possible it is for me to bring that content to you um thanks again for viewing as always stay safe and see you on the next one bye